how is it that the only topic that every single working member of society needs to be good at is the one we don't teach? I'm Vivian Tu, AKA your rich BFF and your favorite Wall Street girly. I break the role by having some uncomfortable conversations. I grew up in the suburbs of Maryland in a middle-class, upper-middle-class community where we weren't the majority. I would say when I was very young, my parents were a little bit of the tiger parents. They fled China to come here so that I could have all the opportunities they didn't feel like they necessarily had. So education was a really, really big one. And I think that very much shaped how I perceived the world. They wanted me to be just as, if not better, than all of my peers. Those expectations became something that I expected of myself. I was always acutely aware that like my parents were very frugal. My dad would always say, roughly translated to, you have to spend your money on the knife's edge. They had this immigrant mentality of like, the American dream could be ripped away from us at any moment. So they always wanted to be really, really cognizant of how we spent our money. And that frustrated me. I remember buying a pair of jeans. They were like $25. I got into this massive fight with my mom about how irresponsible I was with money. When I grow up, I want to be filthy rich. I never want to think twice about buying a stupid pair of $25 ripped jeans. Because of that, as I, as I was going into high school, I took an economics class found that I was passionate about the topics because it finally felt like I was learning something that I could look at the principles I was learning on the page and then apply them to my own real life. When I got to college, I started figuring out what I wanted to do. I started going through the motions of like getting into finance and I decided that I wanted to do something that was really fast paced. I interviewed for Wall Street internships and was very fortunate enough to get one. I thought this is just one more chance to prove myself. I have 10 weeks to make it clear that I am the smartest person and I deserve this job. I loved it. <laughs> when you think about Asian Americans and especially Asian American females, I think there's always this perception of kind of like a model minority where you're reserved, you respect authority, you get the job done, you don't complain. I am smart, I am accomplished, and I am successful because I am a woman. But I think as you see Vivian in all that she does, she has this like amazing combination of grit and determination that I think whatever that goal is will help make her successful and, and stop at nothing to reach that goal in a good way. For the first time, I was seeing trading floor dynamics they were calling clients with this hand, talking to their research analyst with the, the second phone. It was just so cool. It was like what I had seen in the movies. There was only one other woman, and coincidentally for me, she happened to be an Asian woman. As luck would have it, she ended up becoming my mentor. She was just so smart and so powerful. That's the only word I can really think of. And when I met her, I was like, I want to be like you. She was the first person to take me under her wing and ask me things like, are you contributing to a 401k? Wasn't. Are you using the corporate hotel catalog to save money? I wasn't. She even bought me lunch for like the first two years of my career. And let me tell you, I could not afford it. For the first time in my life, I had a proof point that I could do it. I saw a young Asian woman who did not come from family money succeed. Having female leadership guiding me was incredible. One day we came in and this new person came to the desk, fired half of the old people. The head of our desk got fired. The desk's culture changed overnight. Either you're getting with the program or you're gonna be chopped liver. I began to face what I consider to be serious adversity in the workplace. My new manager did not respect me. He would say things like, you're too girly for this job. One day I walked into work with a long cardigan and he looked at me dead in the eye. He folded his hands and he bowed and he said, is that a kimono? I knew I had to go. 
And while I was figuring out my new job, I made a lot of friends. And those friends, they would find out that my previous job had been on Wall Street. And the immediate reaction would be, oh, you're going to rebalance my 401k. I got so many of the same questions. I said, well, you guys, I can't, I can't answer the question for everybody. I'm just gonna make a video. Welcome to Rich Talk. I had had the idea to do it for quite a while because I saw some horrible, terrible advice going around. And I was like, no, 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 no. Do not do that. And that's what my first video was. Take it from someone who learned. I can show you how. I had 100,000 followers by the end of the week. It's so funny because to me, she's always Vivian, right? But to a lot of people, she's also Vivian, but she's also your rich BFF. Like who I see in her content is just the person that I've always known. You ask for her opinion and she'll give it to you, whether it's exactly what you wanted to hear or if it's not what you wanted to hear, but it kind of gives you a, a dose of reality. I did not expect my content to blow up. It did, however, make it very clear to me that more people than just my seven coworkers needed this information. In everything that she does, she very much breaks the role of what you might perceive or what the public might perceive a Asian American female to be. She's paving the way for people who might not see themselves represented as much in the media or in the financial industry. I hope what people find is that I'm not special. I'm not your father's financial advisor. I look like I could be anybody's best friend from college. And talking about money is as accessible as it is talking about who kissed who last night. So I think those headlines that say millennials and young people can't afford homes because we like avocado toast or like to drink lattes is ridiculous. Our generation is bad with money because we've never been taught to be good with it. So talk to your friends about money, whether it's about how much you make, how much you're spending. We are more powerful when we speak to each other. I'm honored to be a part of World Woman Hour.